What's up guys? In this video, we'll be looking at how we can install Azure Data Studio. Without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we are going to be needing a Docker container. So let's go to our search bar. Docker contain Docker. Okay. Thank you. Docker for Mac. Okay. We have Docker. We have Docker text for Mac with Intel. We have to go for with Apple Silicon. So we'll be going for the one with the Intel sheet. If we click on this. Now it is downloading. Now once you are through with the download, go into your download folder. This is it. So this is it here. You open it. Now it's opening. So let's just wait patiently. Now we are done with the verifying. We have this pop up. We are going to drag the Docker into the applications. So let's wait. Okay. We are done with the copy process. Now let's close this. Let's go to our launch pad. Let's open this. Docker is an application that is from the internet. Open. Accept. Your password. I want to skip all this. Where do we need this? Docker. They stop starting. Let me sign me. So in the process of signing in, if you don't already have an account, you can just sign up an account. So after you sign up your account, you are going to our stage. So since it's just for personal use, you can just choose this plan, continue with free, click on that. You can go and verify this. Skip to Korea. Now sign in again. I love. Now you're signing up. Now we've successfully restored our Docker. Now that we to install. Kymatic. Now let's go to browser again. Oops. Wait, what? Scroll down. 
a white dollar click on this link click on download we have this so click on this now it's downloading so let's just do it now that we're done with the download let's go into our download folder by smartic take this drive to the application now go to your launch pad open this Because project cannot be open because the end of part cannot be fat. So let's cancel it. Come here. System preference. System preference. Okay. Now let's security some privacy. Now come uh charismatic was blocked from well open anyways. Open. You ask to log in. We can just skip, skip for now. Now we can start for our SQL Server. Let's load in. I'll click on it. Create. Now it's connecting to the Docker. Is downloading the image after I downloaded our server here. Now we have this, we have something like this, and just being really neat, certain that this is running. If you have, if it's after like this, if you stop, okay, let me click on stop. Now, if it's like this and it's actually not working, like it's like this, then it will be very hard for you to proceed in whatever you want to do we can just go back to the docker now you can see we now have our container here so you can just click on this or start here once you click on start here then it's automatically start working here cheap we start start working here cheap so now what you want to do next is go to settings now all that set is Environment variables. We only need, need three. We actually need three rooms here. The part is compulsory. Um, this one too. The accept accept a u n a. Yes, it's compulsory. The rest is actually not compulsory. So the last one just mean. When okay, that's it. Put in your password. That means to put in your password. Then we click on save. And then go back to the go back to the main post hosting me. Fourteen packet three. Change this to fourteen packet three. Then click on C. Now click on C. Now what we want to do next now in Zot is to install our Azure Data Studio. Azure that's um twenty. Azure Data Studio. It in that scroll down. So for Mac, we have the universe, Intel, Snipple, Water Lab. I'm actually using an Intel laptop. So you click on this. So you wait for the download. As usual, once I done with the download, go to your download folder, I did that as you 
Geht man da? Da gibt es zwei Pifischus. Da gibt es zwei Pifischus. Ja. Na, gut, nur ich bat. Wir verbunden uns hier. Gut, wir wollen jetzt schon. Ja, Sava, du kaust. Ka, post. Le user. Le sri. Le password. Connect. Ok. Le connect, je n'ai pas de trust. Ok. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.